Alright guys, welcome to Top News Thursdays, yes. I hope you guys, before I get started, I want to say, if you guys haven't seen my new schedule video, uh, at the end of the video, I'll give a link towards that video, and you guys see my new schedule, because I kind of modified it, and I'll, sh and I'll explain later in these uh, in this new episodes, you know, what happened. So hey guys, let's get started with Top News. Alright guys, this, uh, this one right here is going to be about the Assassin's Creed movie they're going to be making. When I first saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I played Assassin's Creed uh, Revelations, and I really love that game. If you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm new to the Assassin's Creed franchise, but I'm just saying, if you guys haven't tried Assassin's Creed out, get Assassin's Creed Revelations, uh, and then you trust me, it's pretty cool. People say it's a, a medieval Grand Theft Auto, or, you know, around the 18, 1500s, I can't remember the, the year date of it. But also, the uh, the new Assassin's Creed movie uh, is going to be starring that... Uh, um, Michael F uh, Fast F Fastbender. Sorry if I mispronounce his name. You know, butchery and all that. But I can't really say his name. But he's the one who uh, he he's a uh, Magneto from the X Men's First Class, and uh, he's gonna be playing the lead role, and he's gonna be co-producing co this movie. And I'm really excited for this movie. I don't know why. Um, just because it's based off a video game. You know, we see many of you some movies uh, based off of a video game, but you know, just depends. But like, like I don't know why I'm just so excited for this uh, Assassin's Creed, you know, movie. You know, what what are they gonna do? Are they gonna go, to, you know, to the Assassin's Creed Three, you know, in uh, American Revolution, or are they gonna make a new, you know, different time period, or they're just gonna mix it up? You know, that'd be pretty cool. And uh, I think uh, the game's coming out October thirtieth. Yes, yes, it's coming out October thirtieth. And now that I look at it, I'm right now I'm looking at a. Um, a video, not a video, but like a, a screen image from video from Assassin's Creed 3. And it somehow, for some reason, it does look like the, the actor. Uh, I'll give you guys a link to the the article and you guys can see it for yourself. So yeah, guys, let's move on to the next one. Alright, guys, uh, this next one is going to be about Call of Duty going to mobile phones or mobile or mobile. You know, if you guys know how to say it right, you know, oh, wait, it's going to be spelled the same way. Never mind, I was going to say, they've comment below saying how you say it, mobile, mobile, you know, maybe the same thing, I don't know. But let's get, uh, move on to the article. Uh, they're talking about they're making a, establishing a British developer so they can uh, for their Call of Duty franchise, so it can uh, basically uh, give them. It's that developer I think specializes in handheld. Sorry if I get it wrong, but they're talking about uh, like I said, Call of Duty going into mobile phones and all that and whatnot. But they're saying that the, they go, they want to make that developer and establish you know for handheld games and let's say mobile phones. Uh, the th one thing I really want to say is that. Uh, they already have experimented with uh, the Call of Duty Zombies for the iPod Touch. Uh, I gotta say, that is way better. Uh, I love the feel of it. You know, I, I think, for me personally, I just love the uh, you know the feel of it and all that. But once I played on my Android phone, I know they don't have Call of Duty Zombies on that. But I played like some, I played multiple shooters, you know, 3D shooters in my in my phone, and you know my my screen is just like uh, uh, you know you know where am I going? Where am I going? You know it's the they're the same controls for some reason, but it does not respond. And it's weird because my phone is the same size, like the same screen size as an iPod Touch. But, you know, it doesn't want to, you know, I don't know why it doesn't sense it or anything. You know, it's not accurate as much. I say it's because of the iPod Touch has a glass screen, and I say that really does help. That, that glass screen is actually pretty cool, you know, on, um, on accurate. And plus it feels way smoother, you know, than using... Um, than using a plastic screen on an, in, in a phone, you know, I'm just saying. Sorry if I'm stuttering too much, but, you know, I'm trying to oh, I'm trying to process everything right now in my mind. But uh, there's, uh, let me tell you guys another thing. Uh, I, can't, I don't know who made this game, but uh, back when I had my first phone ever, when basically when Call of Duty Black Ops came out, and it was not an Android phone, it was just a regular phone, it had a touch screen in it, you know, and it had the regular, you know, the regular, uh, company apps it had no a uh, Google App Store or anything it's just regular company games or accessories or whatever and so I went to the company's game section and I and I saw people were getting Call of Duty Black Ops I'm like what you know they're getting Call of Duty for the for the phone and, uh, so uh, it was a demo so I tried that out and it's basically kind of like Final Fantasy right back in the PS1 or uh, Harvest Moon if you get uh, from the Game Boy if you guys know don't know anything about that you guys can look it up a video on YouTube but uh, it, it, you know, it looked kind of. It was like a. It was like it was just like the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 tactical view. Uh, it was like the aerial view, you know, of it. I gotta say the controls are actually pretty good on that. You know, that you could easily throw grenades and shoot at people. And I, I kind of say it was kind of fun for a really, you know, 
basic uh, game you know no no good you know it's not like best graphics ever just a basic concept of the game i, I feel that was actually pretty cool but yeah guys let's move on to the final one of this day or video all right guys this uh this final article is going to be talking about the new gaming console that's uh got promoted in kickstarter by google and it's called the oh yeah no it's not really called like that but it's O U Y A, but I say oh yeah. I don't know. It just sounds really cool. You know, I don't know why I'm crying right now, but it just looks so beautiful. But yeah, guys, it, in the first 24 hours, the Kickstarter got a uh, more than one million dollars <laughs> for its Kickstarter, and now they're saying it already surpassed two million dollars. I'll give you guys a link to both articles that we're explaining. One's a video, and one's the regular article. And it's saying it's a hackable game console running on uh, Android OS, basically kind of like a phone. And, uh, is it hackable game? Did, did it just say hack? Oh, wow. Ugh. So it can be hackable, I think. I don't know why. But, I, or not. I, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna say anything. But they're saying that this game console is gonna cost less than $100. Uh, the catch to it is it's kind of like a OnLive. Have you guys ever heard of the OnLive console? It's a... Uh, uh, I'm not saying that you have to pay for subscription, subscription, but you do need internet because they will be also offering free-to-play games like uh, just just free-to-play games that you're gonna see in the market. You know, oh, sorry about that. You know, I had to catch my breath there for a moment. I'm just so excited for this. You know, for some reason, but you know, this this game console, like I said, it's uh, powered by Google, and they want to compete with Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. But uh, the thing I really want to know is uh, when is it going to be coming out? Man, I might have skipped an article. Sorry if I did, but you know what I'm saying will will it destroy Nintendo? You know, this is another uh, you know another console that's running against Nintendo, and like I said, it's Nintendo's last hope for uh, the gaming console. So I, I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, Sony and Microsoft gave Nintendo you know a year to promote the thing and help them out. Basically, I'm saying they said that you know on public. I'm just saying it kind of feels like it, you know they're like, hey, you know we're gonna you know, back up for a little bit, you know, until something new comes out, you know, we'll give you guys a year, you know, but, uh, you know, they're talking about the pledges, and, um, I mean, the pledges, the, the, f the fundraiser that the Kickstarter is doing, and it's like, you know, for 25 bucks, you'll be able to get, like, reserve a username in a, in a console, or a, and also, a, like, a emblem, and, like, 10 bucks only reserves a username, like, if you, or if you even pay 225 you will receive the console with two controllers and just different stuff, you know, there's just, like, high levels all the way up to, like, $10,000, you know, that is crazy, you know, you get invited to, like, one of their special parties and all that, but, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoy this top news, uh, stay tuned, for, stay tuned for the next videos, I'll be coming out of this soon this week and next week, and, yeah, guys, uh, sorry you guys heard, like, this. Wait, uh, you hear that? Yeah, yeah, sorry you guys heard that. It's my chat. I need to put some oil on that. But, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.